G'day everyone, and welcome back to our Battletech post campaign let's play with Flashpoint and Urban Warfare. And we are in the middle currently of uh, a Flashpoint called The Opportunist. And we're working for uh, the Federated Sons, or House Davion, at the moment. And, um. Yeah, she tried to, um get us off site to go and look for some buried treasure <laughs> it's like no you okay one we were warned not to trust her two she's wanted by apparently three different factions local government faction and <clears throat> um there were some pirates that wanted her or something so she's wanted by three different yeah for theft and uh, basically being an all-round uh, shifty person. So it's like, mm, why would I believe anything you say? It's like... <laughs> it's it's kind of obvious that you were trying to get us off-site, so... And besides that, we're in a little bit of hot water earlier with House Devion with um, not killing a, uh, you know, well not taking out a building full of civilians just to take out one, one quote unquote terrorist so yeah no, I kind of don't want to take, take any chances on that. Now um, as I stated before I wanted to, um, well pretty sure we checked the hiring hall, we did and then we actually picked up a new one so we've only got two more mech warrior berths left um, but the other thing I want to do is go into the mech bay, clear out any extras we've got. We've got a crab in there, so let's clear you out and have a look at the store, see what we can sell because I suspect we've got quite a bit of money to be made here. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. <clears throat> it's no problem. Alright. That's fine. Alright, let's keep going with the flashpoint. So, yeah. Medium length. Keep going. And let's jump straight into it. There's another escort. Are you kidding me? Alright, I guess. So, it's time for... Aria Marquis to leave the Lance and make way for some new blood. Death Crusade in the King Crab is going to be great, actually. Perfectly suited for that. Uh, Hacker can stay in the Stalker, I think. I think so. That's really handy having that uh, multi target there. Actually, we've got multi target with the entire Lance. Which is kind of cool. And then we've got Ace Pilot with Whisper. So... Yeah, that's going to come in handy. Let's do it. <clears throat> so piloting 8 school. Her tactics sucks, but... Whatever. It'll get better. Gunnery's not too bad. I mean, obviously, since she's got uh, multi target. And you know what? It makes it a bit of a challenge because, look, having assault max is all well and good. But it really does no good if you can't hit anything, so. <laughs> Alright, so. The sooner we get these people to the rendezvous point, the sooner we can go home. Let's get a move on, Ricky. Unfortunately, uh, the good thing about Whisper is she's got uh, high piloting skills, so she'll be able to move quite quickly. It's handy. That 
And so it says, I've received coordinates for the rendezvous point from Lady Cunningham, Commander. We should be ready to roll when you are. I haven't managed to get Lady Cunningham herself on the horn. Some kind of atmospheric interference is scrambling our long-range comms. Suspect. It should be pretty straightforward, all things said. I think, yeah. I think Command our decision was the right move because it sounds like someone's going to try and spring up. All right, Commander. We're all patched up and ready to roll. We're rolling through the repair base subterranean tunnel system now. I've marked out. I've marked our exit point on your screen. You'll want to meet us there. Get us to where we're going, and we'll see to it that Hadley is smoothly transferred into Halstavian's custody. Huh. Brown as far as the eye can see. Mm-hmm. And we've got some enemies. Look at that. Terminate the hostile bandits. With pleasure. Acknowledged. Moving out. Heading out. Here we got <clears throat> a couple of fours. Huh. Okay. So we got some uh, scouts. Okay. Paying for that. We picked up a blip. Standing a, by. A blip, pisse. Good thing is they are ramshackle. Here we go. So sixty-five ton, two sixty-five tons. Let's get rid of these annoying little pricks first. Start with the Griffin, actually. Hmm. What's in this side? Nothing. Well, maybe we do do the Shadow Hawk first then. Then again. Yeah, he's got he's got a pretty good Yeah, he's got cold shot mastery, so. Firing. <laughs> Head hit, pilot injured. For the critical hit. Torso taken out, pilot injured. Glad I went in cover. I'm receiving you. All right. Have fun in your new toy, Ronan. What have we got? Thunderbolt and Jagermack. Uh, yeah. Acknowledged. Oh, nice. Nice. Target down. Good to go. Location confirmed. Multi target. Um, yeah, it'd be fine. Fire on a multiple. <laughs> <enemy>. <laughs> 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 Hostile eliminated. Commander. Yeah, you could probably do something. Yeah. Firing jump jet. There we go. Hold the death. Warriors, show them what you got. Uh huh. 
leaving you. Hello. Shoot my friend, will ya? One last target. Copy that, Commander. Consider it done. Hmm. Let's put you over here. Good to go. Moving to position. Coordinates received. On my way. We'll go that way. <clears throat> I don't know which way you'll be heading, though. Which way would you be going? Down there. Down there? Yeah, down there. Alright. So in that case... Go this way. On the move. Moving to position. On my way. Uh, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense if I'd be heading along this section. So that's what we're gonna do. Location confirmed. Order. Good to go. Moving to position. Okay. Glad you could make it, friends. With your help, we're gonna get Hadley into House Davian's hands and out of our hair forever. Sounds like a plan. No lands will keep them off you while uh, keep them off you while you move onto the bigger point. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> should have been straightforward enough to read, but okay. Ten four. Head now. Thunderbolt. Commander, I guess. We shoot you first at the back. Me there. Another one coming up there. Yeah, fortunately not that guarded. Well, wait a sec. You'd be an easier target though. But you're guarded. Okay. Let's get you then. All weapons are go. Enemy down. Critical hit. Nice. Closer. Waiting for orders. Yeah. 
Confirmed. Alright, got anyone else? No? Not yet. Yeah, let's do a multi-target. <clears throat> there we go. Roger. Nice. Uh, he didn't move. Well, they didn't move. Okay. Yes, Commander. That's fine. Good hit! Good hit. Two head hits there. Awesome. Yeah, what right. can I do you for? Let's get rid of this trebuchet. Beautiful. Target neutralized. Uh huh. I'm under heavy fire. Not for much longer. Let's do this. It's got our master tactician here. <laughs> nice work, hacker. Target neutralized. Waiting for orders. All right. Confirmed. Copy that. Anyone else around? I don't think so. Move your ass. Um, Commander, let's put you there. Piece of cake. Okay, where are they going to come from? Likely here. If we get reinforcements, which we probably will. 
Let's not kill ourselves. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Affirmative. On my way. On my way. I'm try and bunch him up a bit more again. So that's good. Confirmed. Coordinates received. Yes, I'm there. Okay. So we just stand just on the edge there. Coordinates received. Move on out. Moving to position. I'm gonna do something like this. No, I don't think it's gonna matter. <clears throat> there we go. At least we'll. Okay, now we should get them together. I have no idea where they're going to be coming from. Order acknowledged. Roger that. Yep. I've got more bad guys on radar, Commander. Keep them off me, yeah? You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Get in there, get in there. Alright, we got it. I think we've got it. So where are they? Okay, down there. <clears throat> yes, Commander. Can at least should be able to see. yeah okay we can sensor lock one of them not a lock catapult huh standing by Hmm. Reporting. Yes, 
lifting off. Firing on touch. It's K2 catapult, so shouldn't be too bad. Waiting for orders. No clear shot. Alright, well, we just guard them. Ready for order. Engage in jump jump. The objective is secured, Commander. And the LZ's right there. <laughs> okay. Well, we got them. We got them all out. Well, something's got to go right, huh? Sorry, missed your boat, guys. Interesting. Waiting for orders. Oh, On my way. crap. That's not what I meant to do. Well, I can only hit one of them, so you're it. Taking the top. Thunderbolt. Okay, whisper. Receiving you. Let's do you first. Now yeah, I can knock him over. Firing jump jet. See if I get lucky. Firing. Let me turn in. I'm receiving you. Alright. You're not guarded. So you're guarding first. Copy that. Head? Nah. Torso. Fire an owl weapon. Nice. Next destroyed. One down. Commander. Who's next? Oh, Thunderbolt. I think so. Okay. I'm on it. And again, it's probably an easier target. Yep, let's do it. Giving them everything I've got. Target neutralized. <clears throat> <clears throat> You hit my leg, you bastard. How dare you. Yes, boss. Uh, well, we go precision, I think. Yeah. Position confirmed.
hết Boy nó Mình đi study Target here, I think. <clears throat> yep. Acknowledging multiple targets. Good hit. Ready for orders. Hmm. You got bulwark though. Sure, let's do it. Never know. All weapons are gone. It's knocked down anyway. One on each. Ammo explosion. Target down. Nice. Mech warriors, show them what you got. <clears throat> I need to him down at phase two. God damn it. Really. Toasty, thanks. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, you idiot. On it. You're in for a world of hurt now. Locking in all weapons. <laughs> what did I tell you? Commander, the area has been cleared. Doris has given me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. <clears throat> Thanks for your help, Commander. Addie has been picked, packed onto the dropship, and she's ready to fly. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Mission successful. Alright. <clears throat> Hadley the con artist is going to jail. Very good, we got everyone. Yep, all they all survived. We got a nice pay increase for that. And so now we're back into be yeah. We're friendly now with House Davian again. And lots of experience all around. Whisper didn't get any kills, but that's fine. Didn't expect too much from her. See. Nothing particularly special here, except for this. Oh, and that. Yes. Okay. Some good stuff. I'm not too concerned with the mech parts. Could have got some mech parts, but whatever. I was just happy we got the headshot in the end. Hackers do it really well. Hackers like the new Decker. 
Well, I shouldn't speak too soon. <laughs> So, yeah, um, now yeah, can't wait to see what we get as our reward. Alright. If that's the end, of course. The Opportunist 3, High Orbit non -dees. Commander, we've got a problem. Well, I just got off the line with Lady Cunningham. She wants to know where Hadley's prison transport is. Says that the people haven't seen us. Or the transport. Or Hadley, for that matter. Ah ha ha! What the hell is she talking about? We delivered Hadley to the dropship. At the coordinates she specified. <clears throat> Not as far as Lady Cunning Cunningham is concerned. She's furious. I don't know what's happening here, Ricky. But I sure as hell don't like it. Oh, Adri's people must have messed with the coordinates somehow. Fed us the wrong rendezvous point. Of course they did. Then, who did we drop her off with? I mean, we did put her on the dropship. We're getting a, oh. We're getting a message, Commander. Pre-recorded. It's Hadley. Put it on the view screen. Now. Hey, Commander Wong. I'm recording this message from my bunk on the Salamanca. She's a mercenary vessel. Pretty spartan as ships go. But a crew was willing to repaint her in Davian colors. Plus, they work no questions asked. Of course they do. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not leaving this message to gloat. Well, maybe a little. But you're heavily armed, and you've got a reason to be angry with me. Where I come from, that counts for something. When you talk to your client, you could tell her that she'll find the f uh, find First Prince Davian's yacht at the coordinates I supply you. I cleaned out the ship's vault, but otherwise, this his extremely valuable pleasure craft is completely intact. Lady Cunningham will be pissed that I've that I've escaped. Make no mistake, but with luck. She'll be too preoccupied trying to figure out how I switch the coordinates on you to do anything about it. Not going to give you the answer to that, by the way. Secret of the trade. I'm sure you understand. Anyway, the return of the First Prince's priceless dropship should help, uh, help smooth things over between you and House Davion. This is me doing you a solid, Commander. Remember that. Your screen goes blank as the message comes to an end. What a bitch! <laughs> I find it infuriating that she's getting away with this. Like, any of it. At all. It was in her interest to ditch the pleasure yacht. A ship like that is too conspicuous to fence. And as long as she had it, there'd be a target on her head. She isn't doing us a favor. She's drafting, drafting us into cleaning up her mess. That's probably true, but also true the return in the yacht will work wonders for our rep with House Davian. They've probably given up ever, on ever seeing it again. My advice? Let's put all this behind us and find another job. I'll be ha happiest if we never have to think about Aisha Hadley again. Roger that, Darius. Good rocks moving her fingers over with Red the Cutting Hand. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna need it. What the hell? We got a king crab part. Ooh, okay. What is this? Oh, this is nice though. And a Highlander part. Another Star League Highlander part. That's awesome. Alright. Guess where that exchange is going. <laughs> but firstly, let's uh, have a look at our Mech Warriors. <clears throat> so our new team is um, doing quite well. We did okay in that last one. 
Let's see, we've got... Death Crusade. Good to go. And you got nothing to spend. Well, yeah, nothing to spend. Like I said, hacker. Receiving you. Um, Max Sprint will be okay. I think, actually, yep. It's the best choice. Mech warrior training complete. So we can keep our group together a bit more. Are you ready? Okay. So that was Hacker. Who's next? Um, Ronan? Waiting for orders. You don't need it. Nope. That's a good one. Training complete. The faster we can move, the better we can <clears throat> do on these escort missions, so... Yeah, and the more evasion we can get on the first round of combat, which is always a handy thing. Reporting. Really? Yeah, grab that. I think you need it. Training confirmed, Commander. Okay. It's got a bit of training for them all. And so now we can have a look at our mech bay. <clears throat> and make the stalker even more heat efficient. Until we hopefully get to the point where we're like uh, doing alpha strikes and not expending any heat. Not building up any heat, rather. Like, how insane would that be? So I can get rid of two heat sinks. Two heat sinks. Goodbye. Equipment. Put on yet another exchanger. There we go. So. It's getting slightly better. Really we need... Um, we need double heat sinks. I mean that's good. Uh, what is it? Heat sinking 33, Alpha Strike 44. Wait, actually, isn't that worse? Let's see. It actually is. Huh. Hmm. So it's only useful up to a point. Damn. Okay, well let's forget that for now. I want to use this exchanger on something. Maybe even the Highlander. Actually. Because it's, um... It has a little bit of problem with heat. So we'll have a look. Come on. Have got all day. Well, kind of do, but I know you folks watching haven't got all day. Hmm.
so I've got a um, two lots of LRM ammo, two lots of AC-10. So if I took that off, nah. Well, actually, let's let's check this out before I do anything. Heat seeking 54, Alpha Strike 72. So 54 72. Wait, that's two tons. Damn. So that's not gonna work. Might. One moment. Nah, doesn't work. Not worth it. Okay, so we're putting those back on. Yeah, like I said, it's only work if you're replacing um, single heat sinks. So, confirm that. Alright, so with that being said... Um... What have you got? I think it's nothing but, uh... Double heat sinks on this. Mind you, that exchanger would come in handy for the stalker on particular um, biomes. Re regardless, uh, let's see. I don't want to cut down the back armor. Heat efficiency is good as it is. And I don't want to cut down my ammo, so yeah. Well, here's what we'll do then. We will put it on one of the heavy mechs. Now, on those laser based mechs, it's going to be huge. Um, yeah. Alright, so heat efficiency is crap there, and it's even worse there. So, well, first thing, actually, I've got to refit this anyway. So I want to increase the firepower on the Black Knight. Well, it's not crap on the, the gra on the grasshopper. It's not crap. It's just it could be better, of course. So let's see, we've got lasers there. So we've got another plus ten laser, and I think we're going to put it. Really doesn't matter. Put it here, I guess. Plus 10 laser. Sure. And support weapons. Have plus 10 and plus 50 crit. So we'll put it here. Beautiful. Still not quite. Um, as good as the grasshopper, but it's pretty darn close. Now the gyro is plus one melee hit. Do I need plus one melee hit or do I need the plus two hit defense? I think I need the plus two hit defense, honestly. 
There we go. Confirmed. It's a done deal. <clears throat> it's even better than before. And now we can put the exchanger on the grasshopper. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. And that should make it. Um much more heat efficient. So when it decides to load up. Let's go today. Got places to be and money to make, sea bills. <laughs> Alright. So we could take off the two heat sinks. Then Put on an exchanger. I think it's going to make all the difference, really. It's minus 10 uh, weapon heat. Yeah, it's about, it's just about the same, but... Okay. So, there's 30 difference there. Now, if I put these back on, it is... Um, 34 different, so yeah, yeah, okay. The exchanger is better. Alright, uh, so we'll go back to weapons. But it seems that the exchangers are only good up to a point, and then they kind of become a bit, a little bit of a dud. Fine. Um, let's have a look at these. No, we're good. Confirm that. That works for me. And look. Honestly, the heat management we're using Long for the assault max, it's it's not be too hard. Uh, it's not bad by any means. So, okay, so let's have a look at the next uh, flashpoint we're going to be doing, and it looks like let's see, we've got one all the way down here, so that's quite a ways out of the way. And we do have. Um, a little bit of time to get there. It's four skull. Flint off uh, 69 days. And it's short. And it has a light tonnage requirement. It's at two and a half skulls. So, hmm. It could be medium. It could be uh, a medium slash heavy. And that's 95 days. So, actually, who's the, um, who's the op for for this one? Oh. Crap. <laughs> uh, do I want to tick off House Davian? Oh, I guess. We can make up for it later. Is that it? Yeah, there's only three on the map. All right, we'll go there. Let's travel. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. <laughs> My superiors, thank you for your willingness to take on challenging tasks. You're making an invaluable contribution to the advancement of Davian interests in this region. You're about to change your mind on that. <laughs> So, I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Very good, and we'll have, um, unfortunately, another financial period we have to go through. And then when we get to this next planet, we'll do our usual, um, make warrior hunt and, uh, 
shopping spree. That depends what they got there, of course. But you know what, in a way it's kind of good we're doing flashpoints for everyone. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. So I don't think um any one person who dislikes us, like fully dislikes us at the moment, and that's the Capellans. Well actually they might be indifferent now. So we have improved relations a little with them. But we did go up against them for a little while there. Alright, dirty rotten scoundrels. A comm buzz wakes, uh, a comms buzz wakes you. Darius has a message from the planet's surface. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, Commander. It's uh, um, Aisha Hadley. Commander Wong, I feel awful about how we left things. But no hard feelings, right? I really didn't want to go to jail. Seeing a stunning response, she continues. I like you, Commander. You must know that. So, I just had to bring you this opportunity that could benefit us both. She continues as if you'd agreed. You have a mech warrior in your employ. It goes by the call sign Flatline. He's the spinning image of a certain Davian official who has access to a... Um... Mydran research facility I'd very much like to see the inside of. Let me borrow him for a, w a few weeks. If you play along, I'll give you one of whatever I find in there. What do you say? Partners? Oh, no way. <laughs> Let's see if we can capture her. <gasps> capture her and turn her over to the Federated Sons. Will this work out? All right. Lady Alexandra Cunningham thanks you profusely as her agents slap Aisha Hadley into restraints and march her aboard the Nemo transport. Woohoo! <laughs> um, it's not until you arrive back on the Argo that Darius asks, Commander, did you see Flatline get on board? The sinking feeling in your stomach is echoed by Darius's face. Later that week, you receive a coded message from Ms. Ms. Hadley. I'm disappointed that you didn't play along, Commander, but it did speed up, uh, speed my plans uh, quite a bit because of where Lady Cunningham decided to keep me prisoner. A temporary arrangement, of course. But don't worry about your mech warrior. I'll deliver him safe and sound, just like I promised, just as soon as I'm done with him. Ooh, crap. Crap. <laughs> Well, we did we did get some more reputation, which, look, through reputation with the Federated Sons, we're going to need it with the job that's coming up. Oh, well, I got ahead of myself there. Damn. So he's got the tag criminal. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to leave this for the next episode. So it's called Double Agent. But uh, we're going to go to the hiring hall and see who we can hire, if anyone. Ulysses. I used to love this show. Commander. Oh, he sounds like me. Yes, Commander. He sounds like Medusa. Yep. I used to love this show as a kid, so yeah, I'm definitely hiring him. <laughs> New mech warriors available. Uh, we'll have a look at the store. Let's see. Uh, I don't think there's anything I want here. Or maybe there is. No. Nah. Got a ton of those. That wouldn't be bad though. New equipment available. Do I buy these? Probably not. I got a cockpit mod. 
<clears throat> so, yeah, that's not bad. Anyway, I'm not going to fit it now. Uh, we're going to get into the next flashpoint, and we'll be doing that in the next episode. So I hope you can join me for that, folks. But until then, you know, as I always say, take it easy and bye for now.